Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 1.1b of our virtual Algebra 1 text. We're going to be focusing on how to convert algebraic expressions from algebraic to verbal forms. Alright, the instructions for the examples that we're going to be working on are as follows. We are to convert the given algebraic e expressions from algebraic to verbal forms. Okay? Now one thing you want to note is that um, multiple answers may exist. Multiple um, answers may exist. Okay, let's take a look at the first example. What if we have the expression x plus 9? Okay, so um, this clearly is an algebraic expression. We want to convert it into a verbal expression, okay, into a verbal form. So the solution is as follows. Now let's take a look at this operation right here. Um, how can we express it in verbal form? Plus can be written in multiple forms verbally. Okay. Um, plus can be written as the sum or plus. It can also be written as um, increase. Or you can write it as more than, okay, or more. So let's go ahead and write this expression in verbal form. So x plus 9 can be written in the following verbal forms. It can be written as the sum of x and 9. You can write it as x plus 9. It can be written as x increased by 9 or it can be written as 9 more than x. Okay, so if you take a look at these four uh, verbal expressions for x plus 9, notice that the first three follows the order of the expression. Okay, the variable first and then the number. But the last one more than is a reversal there. So x plus 9 is written as 9 more than x. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next example. Uh, question number 2. Just a side note, all these right here are the verbal forms. Okay, this is verbal. For number 2, what if we have the expression... 12x or 12 times x. This is algebraic. How do we write this in verbal form? Well, this product operation right here can be written in multiple forms. Alright, so times can be written as multiply, multiplied by, it can be written as product. It can be written as times, okay, or times. Now let's go ahead and write down 12 times x um, in verbal form. If we want to do it, it can be written as follows. First of all, you can write it as 12 times x, or you could say the product of 12 and x or you can say 12 multiplied by x okay so these three ways are how you can write the expression 12x in verbal form 
Okay, so we'll put it down verbal. All right, let's take a look at question number three. Now, what if we have the algebraic expression y minus four? Okay, this is algebraic. We want to convert this into verbal form. All right, so the solution is as follows. Let's first of all talk about the different ways we can express minus in our verbal form. Okay, so this operation minus can be written as minus um, decreased difference subtracted And we can also write it as less, okay, or less. Now let's go ahead and write this down. Y minus four, let's write it in verbal form. We're gonna have multiple answers as you would expect. You can write this as Y minus four, or you could say Y decreased by 4, you can write it as the difference of y and 4, you can write it as, um, now you have to be careful with this one, you can write it this as 4 subtracted from y, or you can write it as 4 less than y, 4 less than y. Okay, so these are the five ways that you can express the expression, the algebraic expression, y minus 4 in verbal form. Okay, now let's take a look at the next example, number four. Let's say we have the following um, algebraic expression. Let's say we have the expression y divided by five. All right, this is algebraic. Now the goal is to express this algebraic expression in verbal form. Now this division situation here, we can also write it as um, division operation. Uh, what are some ways that this expression could be written verbally? Divided by is one way. We could use the term quotient. Or you could say over, okay, or to use the word over. Now let's do it. Let's go ahead and write y over 5 in verbal form. So y over 5 can be written as y divided by 5. The quotient. of y and 5, or you can say y over 5. All right, so these are the four ways that you can express y over 5 in verbal form. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, problem 5. Let's say we have the algebraic expression x square. All right, so this is algebraic. Now let's go ahead and express this in verbal form, okay? So if you have a number, let's just put the number mark with a two as the exponent, what does that mean? Um, you can write this as raised to the second power 
or you can write it as squared. All right, so that's, these are the two ways that um, a number or a variable squared can be written in verbal form. So let's apply that to this example. X squared in verbal form can be written as X raised to what? X raised to the second power. And it can also be written as X squared. So these are the two ways that um, X squared can be expressed in verbal form. All right, let's take a look at the last question, question six. Now let's say we have the algebraic expression K cubed. Now how do we write K cubed in verbal form? This is algebraic. Now let's start off by taking a look at what a number raised to the third power uh, is in a verbal form. So if you take a number to the third power, these three uh, components can be expressed as raising to the third power, raised to the third power. Or you could say cubed. All right. Now, um, let's see what k to the third power is in verbal form. So we can write it as k raised to the third power or you can just say k cubed. All right, so that's how you write this in um, verbal form. All right, so how well did you understand the contents of this presentation? Well, we'd like you to try out the following problems to demonstrate mastery. So the goal is exactly the same as before. You have to convert the given expressions uh, from algebraic to verbal forms. Okay, number one, let's say you have the expression y plus 7. Number 2, let's say you have the algebraic expression 7k. And then for number 3, let's say you have the expression t minus 5. Number 4, let's say you have the expression x over 9. For number 5, let's say you have the expression um, m raised to the third power. And then number 6, let's say you have the expression um, Z raised to the second power. Okay, so go ahead and pause this video and go, and write down these expressions in verbal forms. When you're done with it, you can continue uh, viewing this video, and we'll show you the answers momentarily. Okay, now hopefully you had a chance to try the problems. The solutions are as follows. You can write, write this as the sum of y and 7. You can write this as y plus 
seven. You can write this as um, y increased by seven. Or you can write this as seven more than seven more than y. All right, number two, seven times k can be written as seven uh, seven times k. Seven times k, you can write this as the product of seven and k, or you can write this as seven multiplied by k. For number three, this can be written as, um, let's see, for this one, we can write this as t minus five t decreased by five the difference of uh, t and five you can also write this as 5 subtracted from t or you can write this as 5 less than a t. Okay, now let's take a look at our question, the answer to number 4 and four, five, and six. So four first was the answer to that. The verbal form for this can be x divided by by nine. You can also write this as x over nine or you can write this as a quotient of x and 9. m to the third power, this can be written as m raised to the third power. You can write this as m cubed. Alright, number 6, you can write this as z raised to the second power. Or you can just write it as z squared. Okay, so that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of converting um, algebraic expressions from algebraic to verbal forms, to give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below and we will be more than glad to um, respond to your questions or concerns. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to the remainder of this Algebra 1 virtual text. More clips can be found on mathgutserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.